The 2015 Porsche Carrera Cup GB Championship sees an unprecedented 30 car entry. This is a result of management changes, an increased prize fund, a £50,000 rookie prize and also a big marketing and social media push. The 991 version of the GT3 race car remains the same, a 460 horsepower, no traction control, no ABS racing car. It's the ultimate driving machine. Tim, isn't it a delight to see such an enormous grid of proper GT cars? You know, they're fantastic cars. Porsche have put a lot of effort into this year and they've been rewarded with a fantastic grid. Up towards the timing line, the lights are red, the lights go out, we go racing. Good stop by Jelly on the run towards Pada, but Kamish straight away at the inside to go second to have a top shot. Latifi tries to nip up the inside as well. And Josh Webb's also in the mix. We've got Trana straight away, four cars off. Two go off into the gravel in avoidance. And off the road there has got Latifi and Graham Hill back. It's a wild old ride. He's heading back towards the tarmac, but he's falling down and down and down the order. We go safety car on lap one. Getting ready to go racing once more. Here they are. Look, pace quickening. So Stephen Jelly, it is who leads the way. Dan Camish is second. Tom Sharp third. Michael Meadows fourth. Josh Webster fifth. And those five have gone. Ryan Cullen dropping back in sixth. Good fight here, look, because you've got Paul Rees looking for a way past Jake Kruger in the Brooksby car. Rees up the inside, one at Rockingham last year, gains a position here, but these two fighting over 10th position. And another off. Oh, that's Sharp, that is Tom Sharp out of third place. So, has he been caught out by something on the track, or was there a nudge, or has he made a mistake? But either way, the third place driver is in the gravel, and once again, it's near the edge of the road. Was that a mistake? It was a mistake coming out to Graham Hill. This is where, this is where Kamish got him yesterday and he's got a chance. Now they're going to go side by side. Jelly's run wide, he's on the grass. Meadows goes second, Webster goes third. Jelly drops to fourth. They've been on the limit every single lap of this race. And he comes through to take a fantastic second victory.